is here, Wrestling Observer Live, and I do not know where Mike Sempervivi is. So let's send him a text message here live on the air. Yo, brother, where art thou? What do you think about that? Well, we can put the picture up, but we don't we don't have the actual voice. So eh, we'll see what happens here today. All right. Well, what's everyone talking about today? Oh, this CM Punk fella? Well, this is from the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. According to a report from Fightful, CM Punk has been considering a comeback to pro wrestling with AEW as the front runner. While light on specifics, the report said that Punk and a company official, quote, have had ongoing conversations about an in-ring return. They added that, quote, we've been told in recent days that higher-ups in WWE believe that Punk is headed to AEW and that while other companies have had interest, they hadn't heard of any offers. Dave Meltzer said he doesn't know where talks stand, but as far as talks happening, that has been the case for a while. Outside of two unannounced indie appearances under a mask, last in-ring appearance for Punk was at the 2014 WWE Royal Rumble. He left the company later that month, and in November, he released a podcast with Colt uh, Cabana that provided a litany of details as to what happened and why he wasn't there anymore. Part of the story was that he he was informed of his firing from WWE on his wedding day in June. He also discussed health issues and what he perceived as wrongful advice related to a MRSA infection. Later resulted in a 2015 defamation suit against he and Cabana by WWE Dr. Chris Amon. Suit was uh, was resolved three years later when a jury found for Punk and Cabana. However, Cabana later sued Punk for not covering his legal fees, and Punk then countersued him until both sides dropped the case. Since leaving wrestling, 42-year-old has fought twice for UFC, written for Marvel Comics, starred in movies, done MMA commentary, was also an analyst on WWE's now-defunct backstage show on Fox, and made an appearance at StarCast during 2019's AW All Out Weekend. Well, what's what can we say about this story here? So first off, uh, the line here about uh, WWE presuming that he will... Head, be heading to AEW. I mean, I've heard a lot of things WWE has presumed over the years, and sometimes they're right, and many times they're wrong. And uh, for whatever it's worth, uh, if you if you were to ask important people in WWE, where is Daniel Bryan going? Most of them are going to say he will be returning to WWE. I don't know if he's returning to WWE. In fact, in both the case of CM Punk and Daniel Bryan, For whatever reason, my gut tells me that if they go somewhere, they're probably going to be going to AEW. And I'm not reporting either of them are going to AEW. I don't know. We're not going to know until they show up. So uh, as far as CM Punk goes, there's been a a huge, I don't know if argument is the right word, but a lot of debate here in our chat with the Twitch homies about what CM Punk would mean for AEW. How valuable would he be for the company? A lot of arguments about uh, usage of the term. He would be he would be huge. Some people are saying. Other people are saying he would not be huge. Listen, we don't know. Okay, there's a lot of factors that go into this. One of the factors is CM Punk has not been wrestling on a national basis since 2014, and 2014 is quite frankly may not seem that way to a lot of you, but it's a long time ago. Okay, it's 2021 now. In three years, that'll be a full decade since CM Punk was on national television. If you go back and think about, you know, remember when, uh, and this is kind of a bad comparison, but I'll say it anyway. Remember when they brought back Bob Backlund to WWE in like 1993, 1994? I mean, we're not quite that far away. Uh, CM Punk leaving to returning as we'd be for Bob Backlund leaving to returning, but... I mean, it's going to be seven years, maybe eight years, God only knows, if he comes back to AEW. What does that mean? Well, obviously, to a degree, you're going to have all of these fans, or significantly more fans watching when CM Punk was on top than there are watching today. So a lot of those fans, they have long since stopped watching wrestling. 
Some of them still watch wrestling and will reminisce about CM Punk. I don't think there's any question at all that if CM Punk debuted at an AEW show in Chicago, it would be a gigantic moment for AEW. It would be a gigantic moment in wrestling. It would be a gigantic moment for the live crowd. However, where we go from there, I don't know. I don't know if you guys remember or not, but uh, I, and I could be I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure this is largely what happened when when Fox hired CM Punk for WWE backstage. This had to be okayed by WWE, but it was a Fox hire. They were going to do this WWE backstage show. They announced that CM Punk was going to be hosting the show. And I think that that was a show where CM Punk tweeted out that they had broken the internet, and everybody was like, oh my God, CM Punk is going to be uh, hosting the show about wrestling. He's back, blah, 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 blah. Uh, backstage long since canceled, okay? CM Punk is an analyst, did not mean much for that show. He boosted it up here and there, but I seem to recall, like, at its best, it was doing, like, maybe a quarter million viewers or whatever, and sometimes when he was on the show, it was doing significantly less than that. What does that mean? I don't know. What I do know is that, in fact, it did not break the internet, and it did not result in WWE backstage doing, like, a million viewers, and all these people were tuning in to see CM Punk. Would CM Punk mean something in the short term for AEW? Absolutely. What do you mean something in the short term for WWE? Absolutely. Is CM Punk going to mean something long term for AEW or WWE? Probably. Do I see him being a massive game changer where, you know, AEW is doing a million viewers. They get CM Punk and all of a sudden they're going head to head and doing 1.9 view million viewers and, and uh, going head to head with Raw and, and that sort of thing. I don't think so. I don't think that's the case with Daniel Bryan either. Can AEW build itself up with good storytelling and such over the course of a year or two years and maybe down the road be going head-to-head -head with WWE? Sure. If AEW continues to rise and WWE continues to decline, yeah, at some point they might intersect. Do I think that there's one person that is going to completely turn around and add millions of viewers overnight to AEW? No. I don't think the same thing for WWE either. And this is no disrespect to CM Punk. It's no disrespect to Daniel Bryan. But you can go back to the Monday Night Wars when we had a far, far larger wrestling audience than we have today. And even then there was nobody that all of a sudden a debut or a jump ship or whatever caused them to gain millions and millions of viewers. For, for uh, WCW, starting with Nitro... It was a slow and steady rise. When WWE was in the doldrums and they did the Steve Austin versus Bret Hart feud and they brought in, uh, they made the, uh, they created DX and everything, everything that they talk about being like a game changer, it was the same thing. It was a slow and steady rise. Even Steve Austin, it was a slow and steady rise. Now, once Steve Austin and Mike Tyson did their angle and it got all that mainstream publicity, their rise started to pick up a little bit. And once Steve Austin won the title at WrestleMania, that rise continued to pick up. But that rise also picked up not solely because of Steve Austin and Mike Tyson and Steve Austin winning the title. One of the reasons that accelerated so quickly was because WCW, they started to free fall, and they had fans jumping ship to the other side. Granted, that could probably happen to a degree with WWE and AEW, but when I look at these, these WWE numbers, they're not in a free fall right now. They were in a free fall several years ago. If you compare now to several years ago, I mean, that was the free fall. That was AEW's best opportunity. Now, they seem to have settled in at between 1.5 and 2 million viewers. And I think that they're going to largely stay there with perhaps small declines and a continued decline through football. But do I see Punk, Daniel Bryan, if they sign Steve Austin... Do I see any of these as potential massive game changers? No. It will be slow and steady to win the race. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions 
of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.